The disturbing answer as Hank Philippi Ryan investigates. Rebecca, age 12, sleeps peacefully in her Hanover home. What she doesn't know, right now she's terrifying her parents. We've set off the smoke alarm outside Rebecca's bedroom to see if she'll wake up. And for two solid minutes, the alarm shrieks. But Rebecca doesn't move. What did you just see? It's disturbing. And here's what will disturb every parent. If you rely on a smoke detector to wake your sleeping child, that may be a fatal error. More than half of young children who die in home fires are asleep. And one possible reason, as our experiment shows, smoke detectors just didn't wake them up. Lucy Walsh, age 3, Sister Hannah, age 5, Sister Olivia, age 7, 3-year-old Wyatt Campbell and his big sister Rebecca, all children of Quincy firefighters. Sometimes put them With the help of fire safety expert Lieutenant Bob Surveys, we first made sure all the kids understood the basics, the importance of having a fire drill. So you know what to do in case the real thing does happen. How a smoke alarm sounds. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and what to do when you hear it. Your first job is to get out, stay out. We told them we'd be back some night to test their fire safety skills and that when they hear the alarm, they should instantly get up and get out. Got it? A week later, when the kids were all asleep, we set up night vision cameras and set off the smoke alarms. You may think that sound would wake anyone up. Sleep experts say adults, yes. So Children, no. The brain waves are different. Their sleep patterns are different. Uh, their stages of sleep are different. And look at Wyatt in his crib. Not a flinch. Lucy, Olivia, Hannah under the covers, and Rebecca, all sleeping soundly. Experts know in a fire you've got to escape quickly. The deadly smoke and flames spread in an instant, and after two minutes, your chances of escape and survival are critically diminished. So we let the smoke alarm ring for two full minutes. Wyatt and Rebecca completely oblivious. Their parents completely astonished. I feel sick. I'm physically ill that she may not have even moved. At the Walsh kids' home, we even let the alarm ring for a minute longer. Lucy, still no reaction. Hannah, nothing. At one point, Olivia sits up, then pulls the covers over her head to drown out the noise and goes back to sleep. Their parents watched in dismay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And fire experts know every second of delay may lead to disaster. Is three minutes too long to stay asleep in a fire? Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's, it's way too long. And as the Campbells watched their slumbering children, they realized when Rebecca babysits for Wyatt, the two children are home alone. You know, if they were at home without us, I think they would be dead. Yeah. Something has to be done. Some researchers say this may be the answer. Chelsea! Wake up! A smoke alarm that adds a familiar voice to the wake-up warning. Tyler, this is Dad. Wake up. This research video we obtained shows the voice alert does seem to work on the test subjects. But would a voice alarm wake our sleeping kids? One company allowed us to try out a product they now have in development. Remember, every child slept through the alarm that beeps. Now watch as a new alarm adds the recorded voice of their parents. wake up! Little Lucy Walsh, at the sound of her dad's voice, instantly her eyes flutter. Twelve seconds later, she's sitting up. Olivia! Hannah! Olivia's out of bed in 14 seconds. Hannah's up in 26. What kind of a difference could that make? Life or death? Wyatt, it's mommy. You have to get out of bed. Three-year-old Wyatt Campbell takes longer, but in less than a minute, he's awake and then crying. Sister Rebecca, hearing her mother's voice, is awake in six seconds. Rebecca, wake up! It's mom! It's the fire drill! Wake she up. fights to get back to sleep, but she just can't ignore that voice. Rebecca, wake up! It's mom! It's the fire drill! In 30 Rebecca, seconds, she's up. out of bed and into wake her up. father's arms. Wake up! Come out the right now. Experts emphasize smoke detectors are essential in every home. But for these parents, at least, our experiment is a wake-up call to their limitations. What does that mean to you? The life of my children. I mean, what's more important than that?
parents can easily test in home fire drills to see if their children will wake up at the sound of the smoke detector. If they don't, that's a clear signal to adjust the family escape plans. Those voice alarms should be on the market in the coming months. Check our website for more information. In the newsroom, I'm Hank Phillippe-Ryan.